Good morning all. Let's open some electronics related post. It's called post bag. Starting with this one, it says volt amp meter. What kind of volt amp meter? Let's take a look. Let's have a closer look. We've got some quite uh, nice wires in here, including these really thick uh, wires for the current one presumes one thing i'm interested in uh, with this is can it oh that's quite nice can it measure negative currents most of these things can't so this is a deke robot module uh, it says here dc power meter we've got uh, dc 50 volts 5 amps a couple of calibration potentiometers here little trimmer pots uh, what's this going to be lcd oled i don't know yet and uh, on here, this three pin connector says O, I and ground. Now at first glance, that looks like output, input and ground. And certainly if I plug this in, ground is the black wire. But normally this would be uh, power on one of these and measurement on the other. So I'm not quite sure what that means. Right, I found the listing for this thing and it's telling me 7 to 12 volts for powering this thing, which is a very narrow range. Uh, well, I'm going to go for 12 volts, this set of nickel metal hydrides. So let's see if it powers up. Well, in the end, I thought it would be easier to uh, connect it to this thing. So I've set this thing to 10 volts. And this has come on and it's showing volts, amps and also watts. Um, and it's this, uh, it's an LCD, but it's a sort of uh, strange large seven segments, uh, three lots of seven segment displays here, which is interesting. Okay, so I believe I can use the measurement wire to measure with respect to ground. So it should be able to measure its own power supply. Poke that in there. It's a little bit slow and it's also reading a bit high if this thing is to be believed. This is reading 10.2. It was until the wire fell out. Yeah, reading 10.2, but there is the VCAL pot adjustment here, so I could calibrate that. Now for current measurement, it says put your load. I've got a small light bulb in the positive side of the current measuring wire. Uh, the That goes to positive of a separate power supply, this 12 volt battery pack, if I can get that wire to sit in there. And put the negative side on the negative, so if I can hold these Okay, and now we have a current measurement, which is uh, 110 milliamps. Now it's not measuring any voltage. No, that's right, because my sense wire, the white wire, isn't going anywhere. Let's reverse these and see if it can measure negative. I don't think it will. You may not even like it, actually. Uh, yeah, let's get that bulb to come on. Come on, bulb. Oh, I've got really quite terrible connections here. So the lamp is on. We're not measuring any negative current. So uh, no, this one doesn't do negative current measurements. Now to get a power measurement, <laughs> I've got some terrible connections here, but I need to put my white sense wire on the positive of my uh, high current supply. It's not that high current. And uh, yeah, we're reading that the battery pack is 12.8 volts. We've got 110 milliamps, 0.11 amps. And yeah, we're burning 1.38 watts. So that all works. There's a little molding pip here that's really annoying me. So let's carve that off. Oh, that's much better. So should we take a look at this thing on eBay? So this is the one, it's the digital DC 50 volt, that's its measurement range, 5 amp, 250 watts, LCD voltmeter, ammeter, voltage, current voltage, power and all that stuff. It was $4.49 and uh, free shipping came from Alice Womano 1983. So scrolling down a little bit, we have the wiring diagram, this is what I was following. 7 to 12 volts uh, in here, seems a rather narrow range. I would have thought you could push that a bit, um, given this is a 78L05. Then, of course, we don't know whether everything is running from that regulator. LM358 there, almost certainly the op amp for 
um, amplifying up the voltage across the current shunt. I think this little chip here is a microcontroller because this Holtec HT1621B appears to be just an LCD driver. Continuing to scroll down, we've got some stats here on measuring ranges, voltage, current, and power. And we've got some dimensions stuff. I can't quite remember what the purpose of buying this was. I can't quite remember where I wanted to use it. Um, but because it hasn't got bidirectional current measurement, it's probably not for use with lithium battery packs where you're trying to measure inflows and outflows. But I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Actually, let's switch that off. If this image looks rather grainy, it's getting very dark. It's only half past two, but this is mid-December. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. And it's integrated circuits. And these are uh, 20 pieces, LM324. So these are quad op amps. I think I'm actually going to print out a data sheet. So here we are, LM124 up to 324. Uh, 324, I presume, is the quad, yeah. Uh, four independent, high-gain, frequency-compensated operational amplifiers designed to operate from a single power supply over a wide range of voltages. And they say single supply here from 3 to 32 volts. Now, I've done a lot with op-amps recently, uh, 741s and 1458s, running on plus and minus 12. What I want to do is experiment with op-amps running on, well, just 5 volts. And specifically what I want to do is use the output of the op amp to drive the control voltage of a 555 so I can vary its time period um, with everything operating at 5 volts and this should work it does say though here uh, large output voltage swing from 0 volts so right down at the 0 volt rail to V plus minus 1.5 volts well that's quite a bit lower than V plus so V plus is 5 volts the output of this thing is only going to go up to three and a half volts. Now that might be okay for driving the uh, pin five of a 555 to vary its time period. We shall have to see, but uh, yeah, I've never really played with the LM324 before, so this will be interesting. These ones, uh, 20 pieces IC LM324, DIP 14 pin, low power quad op amp. Uh, oh, new date code. Um, we're very cheap actually, $1.82 for 20 pieces, that's less than 10 cents each. Uh, free shipping, I got these from Survey 2014. And I think we'll have to call this the last one because the light level is dropping very fast. I'm not sure how close, oh that's nowhere near is it? Let's see what this one is. Uh, it's a circuit board, it's very small and very thin. It's a BMS, but it is quite small, so we'll have to come down a little bit, I think. These things have become incredibly cheap, and uh, you do get a lot of components for your money. Focusing doesn't seem to work at this light level. Right, I had to abandon natural daylight and go for some overhead lights. I don't particularly like them because the colour's a bit nasty and you get this sort of hot spot here. But anyway, we have a controller chip here. It, it says it's an 8254. AA, I believe that's what it is. Yeah, there are four big MOSFETs here, presumably for cutoff um, if the pack voltage falls too low or perhaps drifts too high uh, during charge. Now, there are a lot of um, SOT23 devices marked 431, and I assume there's a TL431 uh, sort of voltage references. There are four of them. And I've got a feeling this is uh, a 4S BMS. I'll just check that, actually. Yes, this is a 4S 5 amp. I think it's 4 to 5 amps, actually. So it's not a particularly high current. But uh, I think the idea, and, and this is so cheap, it's like $1.75. You get a lot of stuff on there for $1.75. So I think the idea was to put it on uh, my lithium battery pack. This is a 4S 2P pack. So this does the BMS stuff. Uh, shuts off the output if the voltage drops below a certain level and then the active balancer oh that's stuck on with blue tack does the balancing part because this of course won't do balancing so the combination of these two should make a fully functional uh, lithium-ion battery pack 
So let's take a look at this one on eBay. So this is the uh, listing and there are dozens of these things, well at least a dozen of these things for 2S, 3S, 4S, 6S. Um, you've got triangular ones for 3S. Uh, got some ones here with quite a lot of MOSFETs for high current and then the little one that I bought which is very low current let me just select that you won't see the select box but I'll go for the 4S 4 amp to 5 amp so that's the one I bought but it's just so cheap oh I think I paid 175 it's now gone up to 183 free shipping and these came from DIY electronic just break this uh, sidebar off this panelizing bar off yeah that's really quite small big connections on the back though uh, we've got P plus and P minus that's pack positive and negative that's where you actually uh, put your charge current in and pull your discharge current out and then we got uh, five terminals here for the most negative of the uh, four cell pack and all the positives from there yeah that's quite nicely laid out and so these are today's post bag items. Now, big thanks to my sponsor, JLC PCB. I'll have more videos containing PCBs coming soon. Uh, big thanks also to patrons who are serially and seriously generous people. If you would like to become a patron, you can click this link here. Another couple of videos featured up here if you want to watch more of my stuff. And this is the link where you can subscribe if you're not subscribed already to this channel. Cheerio!